rice and beans. So lots of you are living off of rice and beans. You know what? You can keep yourself alive with rice and beans. Thank goodness for rice and beans, right? They are keeping you upright. They are keeping you functioning. You will survive. It's not fancy, but you will get by. This is enough dopamine to roll over in bed, not be in excruciating pain. These are people who are just taking enough dopamine to, to cover their very bottom basic needs. Most of these people who are skimping, living off of rice and beans, I call it, are walking around with some of those low dopamine symptoms. They have muscle pain, they have anxiety, they're getting bad sleep, they have apathy. Right. They think they're, you know, they read somewhere that you're supposed to stay, keep dopamine to a minimum. And so they're working really hard to take as little dopamine as they can get away with. And what they're doing is it's like they're living off of rice and beans. They've be developed this belief system and they're skimping as a result of it. I don't think you're doing yourself any favors. These people do not are not nearly as motivated. They're not as socially engaged. It's harder to get exercise done. It's harder to stand at the counter and chop your vegetables. Um, your basic needs are covered, but it's not fancy. Flip side of that, we'll call them speed freaks, people who, you know, every time they get a little slow, a little stiff, a little anxiety, they'll pop a few more pills, right? They'll take another levodopa anytime they get a little bit slow. Um, lots of these folks might have their normal schedule, one pill four times a day sort of thing, but then they're popping half tabs or extra tabs all throughout the day as a supplement. If you're supplementing that much levodopa, we should just get you a better schedule that covers you more often right? These folks tend to be burning the candle at both ends. They're running their companies. They're running the PTA. They're babysitting their grandkids. And, you know, just watch out for that. Just watch out for that. There's a sweet spot. I want you spending most of your time in this middle zone, right? Like you might take a little extra half tab before you go play pickleball or before you go to the airport or something like that. But you want to dial it in and find the dose that, you know, 80% of the time, 90% of the time, it gives you enough dopamine to do what you have scheduled for the day. That's the sweet spot. We don't need too much. We don't need too little, but you want to make sure your needs are largely covered.